Hi, I'm Maggie Wang. So I talk for a living. I used to be a radio announcer and TV host. Now I still host for events and live streams and also my very own podcast called Head of a Use Podcast. I'm also a fitness entrepreneur. So I do have a fitness community that I started called Move with Maggie and a fitness studio called Motion Lab. Responsible, unstructured, yet still practical. Um, this one, I'm gonna have to thank my mom for it. Um, since I was a kid, she's always told me and my sister to save up our money, especially you know during Chinese New Year when we get ang pao, never spend them all, keep some in the bank. Yes, you can still spend some, reward yourself, but the rest, keep them, save them. So as soon as I was debt free, then I started saving up for um, emergency fund, and then also actually the first thing that I did was saving up to buy an insurance. Definitely. Thank goodness, like I said, I'm a saver. So I was jobless for at least five to six months at the start of the pandemic. It was tough not having any income at all for like, I thought it was just one month, okay lah, like one month is fine, but it hit till about half a year, right? Very grateful that I'm a saver, especially during a time like that. I'm like, I just told myself, thank goodness I save, otherwise I really don't know where I can get money from anymore because I think everyone was really struggling at the time, so kids, save your money, always. Can I be honest, I didn't know that. I always thought insurance is just to cover you when something happens. For instance, my medical insurance. I never quite knew you could actually save with it. I guess the more I'm an adult, the more I realize actually it's so important to think about our future life, you know, what, what's gonna come after, and really to think about the people around us as well and just having to have one less thing to worry about i think it's it's worth the investment i guess like i said if you're really not a saver that somewhat forces you to save isn't it like every month you have to put in i don't know a premium you have to pay for the premium and that premium does not just insure you but it's part of the saving plan as well so i would say it's pretty perfect for people who don't know how to save or where to start to save Perhaps this is something that you can think of to kind of kickstart your saving journey. 